What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. For today's video, it is going to be a little bit different. At the moment, we do not have no electricity. It has been out since the middle of the night. As you know, we are in the middle of an Arctic blast over here in Texas, so it's kind of cold outside. But we are going to do what we can today. We are going to try to eat stuff around the house that we have here in the house. And I'm going to show you that you can still do keto even in the middle of an Arctic blast. It is currently snowing outside. My kids have never seen snow before, neither have our dogs. So we got up this morning and got dressed and we are going to get their reaction and I can't wait for them to see it. So let's go outside. All right guys, we are going to let the dogs out and get their reaction. Come on, let's go outside. Outside. Bella. <laughs> go outside, Bella, come on, outside. <laughs> Y'all, the dogs want no part of outside. Shady ran out there. Shady is still out there, but the other dogs ran straight back inside. <laughs> you want to see snow? You want to see snow like Santa? Let's go see snow like Santa, okay? Look! Santa! Whoa! Santa! Whoa!
coming back in. Stop. Yeah, I had to defrost. <laughs> I'm frozen. Oh like, I'm not used to this. You, you want more? Yes. Can mommy defrost real quick? Okay, we'll go outside right now. <laughs> oh my God. All right, y'all. My kids pretty much ate. They had peanut butter and jellies and just little things that they were, yogurts. We had some yogurts in the fridge still that they were eating. So I'm just gonna be snacking on this Love Good Fats bar. You already know these are my absolute favorite bars. <laughs> Shady is always up in my business. <laughs> She's such a weirdo. Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna have a love good fat bars just for this morning. Um, Y'all know these are my favorite. It is four net carbs, nine grams of protein, and this is a dark chocolatey sea salt and almond. This is my absolute favorite flavor, but they do have the caramel flavor, which is really good as well. But this one is really, really good. So I'm just gonna be snacking on this for my first little snack of the day. Byron is just in his room coloring. <laughs> his nose is all red. You're trying to stay warm. Hi. Yeah, what are you coloring? Say hi. Say buzz. Buzz. Buzz Lightyear. What color is that? Red. It's not red. What? It's green. Green. You always say everything is red. <laughs> he, uh, he's a little lefty. But he tends to use his right hand sometimes too, but he's mostly left-handed. And Bash is over here playing with his puzzles. <gasps> Who is that? Yeah, what? Say Blippi. Blippi. Bash loves Blippi. Mom. Blippi is very educational. I love Blippi. Is he on a dinosaur? Yeah. Wow. He loves these puzzles. He has Mickey Mouse ones, and my mom bought him like three Blippy kinds for Christmas. Little tractors. Yeah, they're yours. So they're keeping occupied right now. They have little stuff. They have tons of toys that they can stay occupied with. Right, baby? Yeah, it's just trying to get them to share them. Birdie. <laughs> yeah, Blippy is on a dinosaur. What? Lazy. This man over here being lazy. He's gonna hibernate all day, mm -hmm. all week. Maybe. <laughs> what are you doing, Brando? Brando still has power in his pad, so he's playing on his pad for a little bit. What are you playing? I don't know what that is. Brando plays all kinds of things. He's really good at games. I wish we just had Call of Duty right now and I'd be good, but nope, no internet. No Call of Duty. Call of Duty. There's Shady over there staying warm. Yeah, yeah, cool. Some of our dogs are right here under the blankets. I don't know which ones. Here's Shady. She just came out of there. Let's see who else is staying warm in here. I think it's Saki. Oh no, nobody else is in here. I lied. I don't know where they're all at. Which is Shady? They're all in here in their bed. Look at them. They messed up their beds and everything. All the doggies are in their ling. They have like five beds around the house. Shady follows me everywhere. Where's Shady? Shady ran outside in the snow like nothing. She didn't even care. Okay, so I'm thirsty. I drank some water earlier. But remember I told y'all I got this hint drink in the cherry flavor that I've never tried before. So I might as well try it on camera. Let me see if they're really good. And if they are, then these are gonna be my new, one of my new favorite drinks to get. I'm hoping they're good. I usually don't like, like, what are they, like sparkling waters and stuff? I really don't like that stuff, so I'm hoping it's at least decent. It tastes like nothing. <laughs> it's literally just like water with like, a smell of cherry I don't know mm, I think I'd rather make my own oh I have a cherry Jordan skinny syrup we could probably try that and just like take it up a notch but then that's just like ruining the whole point of this I don't know I heard people say that the watermelon is better maybe next time I'll just grab a watermelon but I mean this isn't really to me they're pretty expensive if they're just gonna taste like water with like a little hint of a flavor. So, uh, not, not my favorite. But it'll do for right now. 
But I do have a cherry Jordan Skinny syrup. Maybe I'll just put a splash of this in there and have a, a cherry water, so we'll see. If y'all have never tried this cherry Jordan Skinny syrup, it's really good. Um, I, I got these just to flavor my waters with. Or you can do like, if you're like dirty keto, you can put this in Sprite Zero and you have like yourself a Sprite cherry soda. I'm just gonna put a splash because that really needs to take it up a notch. This isn't, mm -mm. it's not bad, but I thought it was gonna be more like bursting or cherry and it's not. But I saw, yeah, that's way better. I saw somebody comment that the, um, the watermelon flavor is better. So maybe next time if I see the watermelon one, I don't think they had the watermelon one. I think they were pretty much sold out of them. Um, I'll probably grab that one. And then if I don't like that one, I don't know. I probably won't get these again. But right now this would do. All right, guys. So earlier we woke up really early. So I just had a quick bar. But I am going to put something warm in my belly. My kids had their warm meal. My husband ate. Now it's my turn. Now, since we don't have electricity, I know some of y'all might not know this. If you do have a gas stove, you could still light your gas stove. You want to make sure you turn it to low and your gas is going to come out and you're going to quickly light it. Just like that. And then you want to turn it as high as you want. And you still have yourself some fire to cook with, even though we don't have electricity. So today I'm just going to be making some quick pork, pork chops. I had these pork chops in the fridge and I didn't want them to go bad, so we're gonna cook them up since we don't have electricity for our fri fridge for them to stay cool. So I'm just gonna season them with some salt and pepper on each side. Just very simple because I am going to be throwing the salsa over them and having a side of eggs. And we have ourselves an easy meal, still staying keto even though we don't have electricity and it is freezing. We still gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta stick to keto. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil at the bottom just to cook these through. We're gonna season the other side once I flip them down into the pan. Now I'm gonna cook these all the way through and then once they're cooked through, we're gonna add the salsa on top so that can heat through as well. Very simple and easy. Just like that. It is so cold. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, before we get started, sorry about the lighting. We don't have electricity, but thankfully we have these battery operated lights so I can get a little light for y'all. So y'all can see me cooking my meals. But we have the pork chops ready. I did flip them and I put a lid on there just so they evenly cook. Once those are done, I'm just gonna add the salsa I got from HEB, this ranchetto salsa. It's so good. Ranchetto salsa is very good on some eggs and pork chops. I'm just gonna put a tablespoon on each one. I'm not eating all of these, but I wanted to cook them all just so they don't go bad. So we'll have leftovers. I'm only gonna eat two. And you're just gonna let this heat through. And while this just sits here off to the side, we're gonna get started on some eggs. I have my pan. I'm gonna take this off. The salsa will just heat through onto the pork chops and just simply make some eggs. We're going to make our eggs in some baking grease adds great flavor and it adds a good amount of fat i just store my bacon grease in a mason jar off to the side here by my stove i'm just gonna add very little that'll melt down i'm just going to be cooking two over easy eggs today and then i'm gonna have two pork chops so you cook your eggs how you like them scrambled with cheese over easy over hard poached however we're just gonna let that keep cook through. I'm gonna season it with some salt and just some pepper. This is a very simple breakfast or a lunch, whatever you like it for. My eggs are ready to flip. I'm gonna try to flip them without breaking them. There you go, beautiful. And we're gonna serve it right up. Serve my eggs onto my plate. At least we still have our gas because if I didn't have this, it would be really hard. But you know, you want a warm meal on these cold days. We're going to take two pork chops. Mmm. And that's it. Very quick and easy midday lunch slash breakfast. And we're going to sit down and enjoy this. 
All right, guys, and here is our meal. We got two pork chops and two over easy eggs with our ranchero salsa. Delicious if you've never tried pork chops and salsa. But oh, we're trying to stay warm. It is literally 54 degrees in my house. The boys are just playing with their, their crayons. They were coloring, trying to keep them distracted. They have tons of toys that they can be distracted with. But of course, they y'all know my boys are like little gamers. So they're used to playing games all the time. And they're freaking out because they don't have their games. I'm like, oh, y'all got to survive now with y'all's toys and each other. So they're coloring and trying not trying to get along because they always fight over one toy when they have hundreds of toys, right? But yeah, it is currently 54 degrees in my house. I think it's absolutely crazy that we're going through this right now. Like literally nobody has power over here in Baytown. I'm pretty sure. I know San Antonio doesn't have some, but they keep turning it off and on. Our power literally has been out since 2 a.m. last night. We kind of woke up and me and my husband was like, yeah, the power just went out. So, but it stayed warm in our house all night because we already had the heater on. So it stayed warm, but of course now it's gone away and it's pretty cold. The snow is like melting a little bit. It's not so snowy outside anymore or else we would go back out there, but the sun came out. So it's like melting on our house and the street, right now it's kind of more dangerous to be driving on the street. Like I keep seeing cars drive on the street in the snow it wasn't so bad but right now that it's melting it's turning to like real slick ice like you know and it's kind of dangerous right now all the stores are closed and it kind of worries me a little bit that the stores don't have power because if they don't have power they have to get rid of all that meat or i don't know what they do with it but if they have to get rid of all that food then once we go back they have to stock up on all the food and then everybody's gonna go crazy yeah it's gonna be crazy I think it's going to be a little crazy, but hopefully we get over it within the next couple of days and we go back to normal, normal videos. So I'm going to try to do what I can for y'all. Um, I'm doing this video so y'all, I can get these videos out for y'all, for y'all to enjoy while y'all are at home and give y'all some ideas that y'all can still cook with. I know it'd be a little bit harder if you have an electric stove. Um, like we have a grill, so we were trying to get some charcoal and just give y'all some different ideas on what to cook. Hopefully people have little portable stoves that you don't need electricity for and those would definitely help. I was telling my husband, maybe we should prepare next year just in case this happens again. I think the weather is changing a lot lately, so you never know. So throughout the year, just get stuff prepared so you can have stuff that doesn't need electricity and stuff like that. My husband's mom said that she's gonna bring us some charcoal later on, so maybe we could put something on the barbecue later for dinner. We would still have that to cook on. But these pork chops are absolutely delicious. This is definitely hitting the spot and keeping me warm. My dogs are staying warm. They are all in their blankets, staying warm, and the boys are just, you know. My boys, it is literally 54 degrees in here. I put three layers of clothes on them and they still want to take them off and just run around with no socks. I'm like, y'all are crazy. These boys, they don't care. They would just, they don't like to wear clothes in the house. They just want to be free. <laughs> but all right guys, this is a delicious meal and I hope this just gives y'all an idea on what to make for some lunch or breakfast. It's really good if you have never tried it. All right, y'all, we just been here. Literally nothing to do. We have nothing on. So we just been in and out napping, relaxing, trying to keep warm. But it, I, ate I ate the meal earlier, um, about an hour or two hours ago, or hour and a half ago. Now it's time for some hot cocoa because I'm cold. So if y'all saw it in my last video, I absolutely loved this keto hot cocoa. Um, it's really, really, really good, absolutely, by ketobars.com. So this is what we're gonna make. All you do is heat up a cup of water and then add a scoop of hot cocoa, but we going big today. We doing two cups of water and two scoops because I want a big glass of hot cocoa. And then we're gonna add some keto marshmallows in there. So I'm gonna heat through some water on my stove. All right guys, I have my water heated through. I'm just gonna pour it in my big old cup. I got this cup, I believe it was around Halloween time from Kroger and it's huge. Look at this cup. It's like bigger than my head. <laughs> so be serious about our hot cocoa today. And then it says one scoop for one cup of water. So I'm going in with two scoops. I think I put a little too much water. There it goes. Because the, the hot cocoa is going to let it come up with this, the rise a little bit. Okay, so got one scoop in and the other. And all you do is simply mix it. Oh, and I did try it with some unsweetened almond milk. Yesterday I heated it up and it was really good too. 
but I'm just gonna use water for right now. I actually have my unsweetened almond milk outside in a tote because outside is colder than our fridge right now. So I put all like our, our unsweetened almond milk, our cheeses and everything outside in a tote right here on the side of our house just so it stays cool and it doesn't go bad. So yeah, that's how that's going. Okay, everything dissolved very nicely. This cut cocoa, God, I'm gonna have to order more because it really is good and it definitely hits the spot right now. Okay, so my marshmallows, y'all saw in my last video. If you didn't see it, if you're new to my channel, here they are. I get these on Amazon. I will link them in the description below for y'all. They come in a three pack, a variety of different flavors. These are the vanilla. They do have um, MCT oil in them. They are literally zero net carbs. MCT oil and collagen in them. And they are huge. I just get two of them and I kind of just cut them up into littler squares. Just like this. And then I will put it in my hot cocoa. And these are delicious. Definitely have to keep these on hand and we're on winter time. Hey, baby. Okay. Okay, take it over there. Guys, these boys, they've been playing and everything, but then, you know, they get bored and they want their games and I'm like nothing works and I don't really think they can comprehend that nothing works we don't have electricity so they're going crazy a little bit all right guys this is my hot cocoa it's so good and I'm just gonna enjoy this you want to try some hot cocoa no okay it is gonna hit the spot right now all right guys while the kids are sleeping we are going to actually get started on dinner early we don't want to use this lose the sunlight for y'all and then it's going to get dark and get really cold because we're going to be barbecuing outside today we're just going to make some shrimp um simple shrimp and sausage foil packets on the grill so let's get started i am cold and i don't even want to do this but we got to eat <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I hate you right now. I gotta get it. I can't help you. I gotta get the content. It's like when you watch a cop to me, we can't help. You know, we gotta... <laughs> See, I got a great fall. You know why? Because I'm wearing slides. Yep. I think I broke a nail. You're trying to slide around. Okay. Wait, guys, I'm moving slower now. <laughs> You should have just poured it in there. Okay, wait. Uh, this bag is heavy. You gotta show them girls they don't need no man. They got this. <laughs> okay, let's go. In the penny.
Okay, since I'm only making me one foil packet, I just have a serving of shrimp in my bowl. And I am going to chop up some sausages. You could use any sausage that you like. We're just gonna chop them into bite-sized pieces. Okay, just for mine, I'm going to put one sausage. this in here now instead of potatoes because we don't eat potatoes on keto I washed a zucchini and I'm gonna put zucchini in mine you could use yellow or green whatever you like and then all we're going to season this with is your favorite Cajun seasoning I like to use slap your mama and it's already really salty, so you don't need to add any extra salt or anything. And then we're gonna add in some smoked paprika. We're gonna give this a good mix. Good little toss. Now we're going to take our foil. Since these are foil packets, you wanna make sure you get heavy duty because if you don't, you don't want anything seeping through the foil. get a piece we're gonna lay this on in the middle now we're going to add in some butter I'm just gonna do some dollops of butter we got some Kerrygold grass-fed butter right here then you're gonna close it you're gonna take each end close it just like this Make sure you fold it all the way down. And then you're gonna fold in the edges. And this is going to seal everything in. And we have our foil packet. All right guys, we got our foil packets ready. We are about to put them on the grill. You wanna make sure you face them up. made some for my husband and my kids all right and we are going to let them cook for about 25 to 30 minutes okay y'all i'm gonna make some cauliflower rice on the side for me i didn't want to put it in the foil packet because cauliflower rice releases a lot of water and i didn't want it to get watery so i'm just gonna simply put some butter in a pan i'm gonna make it very simple and easy I have a packet of rice cauliflower. Now remember, we can't put this in the microwave right now because we don't have electricity. So we have to put it in a pan today. I know it's still a little bit frozen. We're just gonna break it down. So I can get it off the bed. Okay, right now I'm just gonna let this heat through. Once it's defrosted, I'm just gonna season it with Flavor God's lemon and garlic seasoning. I love this seasoning. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's really it. You just let it simmer for about five minutes and it's already cooked. So you just have to heat it through and let your seasoning get all in there. Putting in some pepper and this is ready. And our foil packet should almost be done. The foil packets have to cook for about 30 minutes on the grill. And we have ourselves a simple side for today. Alright guys, our foil packets are ready. It smells really good. I can smell the shrimp and everything coming through. I'm just going to take these off. The hots aren't as, the tops aren't as hot so I can just pretty much grab them. And dinner is pretty much ready. We're just about to go in and I have my side of cauliflower rice, put it in a bowl. We are just going to enjoy this warm dinner before the end of the night. Oh, the mind. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we had to make those separate. <laughs> All right, y'all, here is my foil packet or dinner that we made on the grill. We got the shrimp, zucchini, and sausage. And then right here on the side, I have my cauliflower rice. I'm just gonna sit down and enjoy. And I did make separate ones for my husband. He really isn't doing keto today. 
for the kids as well. We put some corn in there, potatoes, shrimp, and sausage. So they're gonna enjoy that too. Hey guys, so it is currently the next day. Yesterday I did my what I eat in a day. And once we were done eating our foil packets, we made this fort for my kids and they absolutely loved it. I set up my phone on the tripod and we watched a movie and we went to bed. And this fort was an awesome idea. It kept us warm all night. And it was literally kept us so warm that my husband woke up in the middle of the night and he thought our electricity turned back on, but it didn't. So it really kept us warm. The kids loved it. We all slept together. We just did what we could and we enjoyed the day and just made it, you know, what we can. We played with the kids, they colored, and we kept them occupied as much as we could. But we had a really good day yesterday, you know. Um, today, we're going, we went into the next day. We still didn't have electricity. It, we didn't have electricity for about 35 hours plus, but it literally just turned on about 30 minutes ago. It turned on around 1. I'm hoping everything stays on. Um, we're trying to get anything charged as much as we can, like our battery lights, just in case it does turn off tonight. We have a little bit of light and just anything else that we need to charge up right now. We are having a little bit, another little problem. We don't have water currently. Last night in the middle of our night, um, the night I guess our water turned off, it might have froze. I know a lot, or I think they turned off the water because I know a lot of other people aren't having water right now. So hopefully that can get turned back on soon. But we're doing what we can right now. Um, I know a lot of y'all tell me that don't make it priority for y'all, but I love doing what I do. I love to put out videos for y'all and showing y'all what I eat along my keto journey, even in situations like this. So I'm gonna do what I can and try to put out videos as soon as I can as well. So as soon as I get everything back up and running, I will put out a video for y'all to enjoy. But if you did enjoy this What I Eat in a Day, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in my next video as soon as I can.